Uncle Rick left his jacket down here. I have to admit, I'm a hard working person.
Don't stop. How muddy is it up there? It's muddy. If you want to get out and go over there, you can. Can you come? I'm just going to sit right here. Wait, don't for a fact. One of them blew a tire. I'm not sure which one it was. He's a dumping again. Can't really see him. He's down there. chopping this corn this is what it does it takes the whole stock in and chops it up real nice and fine takes it from what Ethan's pulling out and then turns it into this to feed the cows with a lot different than picking corn where you're just going for the kernels but this thing they're going for the whole plant so basically it just takes it in and rips it to pieces Pretty much, it's got a bunch of sharp knives in it that chop it up into this, into what they call silage. And they'll put it in the pit and let it ferment for a little while. And they'll start feeding it to the cows. But this is the only filled silage that we have. Hey, we raised, we grew this for Brett. We were gonna rotate this and put the weed in here, but Jeremy decided to go one more year wheat where it's at and then we'll rotate this next year so we'll probably have silage corn in it again but it's what's the date today fourth i think it's october 4th check real quick yeah october 4th but ethan found him a cob of corn to play with so when it chops it it brings it in and even the cob, it chops it as well. Chops it all up. Processes it. Yep. So, it's getting to be late afternoon now. We haven't recorded much today. We've been working on the augers and some more on the combine. Pickles was here this morning and he didn't feel too enthusiastic about being filmed he was kind of having a rough morning so I didn't put him on film but we'll go back over the shop and kind of show you a little bit of what we were doing once Ethan's done destroying that corn that's been ran over are you ready spear. don't you spear me with that Ow. 
All right. You don't want to go? Well, what do you want to do? I don't know. Well, there ain't much to do here. They're just going to keep going round and round until this is done. Well, we're here over at his farm. Yeah. Brett's farm. And, well, he's posting silage. He went to look out for Uncle Ricky today. Let me focus. All right, guys, we're back here at the shop. We've been working on the combine. We got it all greased up. Got the header all greased up. Uncle Rick and Uncle Ron went through and checked the oil level and all these gearboxes. Pulled the dipsticks out on every row and checked them. Then we got it all greased up. Got everything ready to go. And then Valley Implement showed up. They got the drive line fixed today. They got that all fixed together. There was a seal in there that was leaking oil pretty bad. They got it all put together. We got it all greased up. Got all the oil levels checked and everything. I think the only thing we have left to do, I think, is the air filters. I think that's it. Is that it? I'm not sure. I don't and then know. it should be good to go. We'll find out tomorrow. I think Jeremy's back tomorrow. You want to go over and show him the augers and what we were doing on them? Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll bring you over here and show you the augers. <laughs> Sucking pigeon. You need to bring your BB gun down here and start shooting them stupid things. Yeah. And there's Leanne. Say hi to YouTube. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. It is a little muddy. It stinks over here. It's rained the last three days. We got about a half inch of rain. Hey, stop filming me. I'm, I'm filming the cameraman. You. I'm not supposed to be shown. You're shown. I think people like you. No. Uncle Rick left his jacket down here. So we got this all greased up. We had to replace the grease circs in there Wait, and back in there. It's probably a good thing I didn't film because there was a lot of working words used on that. Okay. Watch out and don't get grease all over you. And then auger have you been the big auger back there, they got the bins all cleaned out. We, Can took, I go see inside of we took that cover off and greased that chain all up. Yeah. The, the dryer bin's done. So I think the only thing we got left is just a minute we got to take the cover off the belts on that electric motor and double check them we got to get up and grease the end of our big auger over here got to grease that thing hey and Uncle Rick got the gravel spread out that looks really good that's the auger we were cleaning out the other day that had all the water in it. It stunk. About made daddy throw up. But I think they've got this all cleaned out. I think the dryers. I think the, the dryer's ready to go. It's all cleaned out. When it's running, it can be very dangerous, so you gotta be careful with it. Yeah, unfortunately, I've been in quite a few. <laughs> Not as many as Jeremy and Rick, but I've dug quite a few out, swept I'm quite gone. a few out. Huh? I'm gone on the video, right? No, I can still see you. Because you're standing there, right? There's a perfect reflection right where you're standing, so I can see you. I can still see you, but not as good. So.
way too out of shape for this. He was disking some hay. I believe it was a hay field before he left for Montana. And we didn't know these were plugged up or we'd have cleaned them out before that rainstorm, but it's done now. Got them all cleaned out. He's got a few broken scrapers and missing scrapers, so we'll see what he's gonna go do with it now. Let's go see what Uncle Rick's doing. This is the platform I have to stand on. It's not the sturdiest, but it works. I don't think it's OSHA approved either. But I really don't do what OSHA tells me anyways. I think that's everything. Take the grease gun back to the shop. See what else they got in store. Well, we're chasing trucks now. We're trying to get the old white 10 wheeler. Down to the tire shop so they can replace the tire. It's got two blown tires on it. The one is coming apart. It's beating and banging pretty good. It's beating and banging pretty good. We're hoping it'll fall off so it don't tear the crap out of the truck, but we'll go see. Got it. Throw it in the back of the truck and we'll take it back home. We'll see what that See what it does? Okay, I'll just keep following. All right, let's follow him to the store. Well, we made it. He didn't lose any more rubber. It was a pretty rough ride, but he made it. Well, it's after lunch. We're back to work. Jeremy's got me down here on Skinner's. We're disking. 
disc in this hay filled out so we can get it ready to plant winter wheat and it is still plenty muddy it's having issues with the auto steer it didn't want to work so I had to call Jeremy finally got it figured out got it going then we lost satellite connection so for a minute there I had to drive I actually had to drive but now we got it going it's going good I don't have to drive anymore it's it's all hands free we're gonna get this disc up get it turned over so it can start drying out then hopefully we can get grain planted in it sometime next week in between cutting corn so I think they might start this weekend open up a couple of fields while I'm at work but then I'm taking all of next week off I think we're gonna try and get a bunch of corn cut I might take a day or two and go up the canyon and do a little elk hunting with Marcy I'll just have to see the way see how things go all right let's get this disced Got that one done. Let's fold her up. take a bar and beat some mud out of some of these like we did this morning all right I'll call Jeremy and find out where we're off to now There's another one done. Got this hay filled down to zittos. All disked up. They can come in and disc grip it now. So I want to explain a little bit more why we're tearing this hay out. It's basically reached the end of its life. It's been in for five, six years. It's starting to thin out, so it's time to rotate it. So that's why we came in and sprayed it and disked it. We used to come in and plow it, but now we come in and disc grip it because it turns, when you plow it, it turns too many of these big roots. I don't know if you can see that, these big roots, hay roots up, and it plugs the harrow and everything and just kind of makes it a pain to plant into. So we disc grip it now, that disc gripper doesn't really turn much dirt over. It more or less just lifts the ground up and shatters it, then puts it right back down. So this field's going into corn. The field on Lyle Holmgren's that we disc's going into corn. So Jeremy will disc grip them and then let them sit over the winter. The field down to Skinner's, it's going into winter wheat. So he's gonna disc grip it probably this weekend. 
and then we got to try and get it worked and planted sometime in the next week or so while we're harvesting corn so it's gonna start getting busy around here which is fine with me gives me something to do on my days off so I'm gonna go park this thing and go find Ethan I've got to go to work this weekend so we'll see what they got done when I get back so this might be the end of the video in fact I'm pretty sure it's gonna be unless they got something else they want me to do so we'll see you next time <laughs>